descent module and the white section at the rear of the Soyuz, if you will, along with the solar rays as the instrumentation and propulsion module. Range rate. Thirty-six meters now, the distance between Soyuz and the station. Everything is uh, performing as planned, closing at a rate of just over one-tenth of a meter per second. Station is half south to the right. Crosshair is aligned. Copy. Confirm the uh, range. Unintelligible. Copy. So he's now just 17 meters away. The proper closure rate of one tenth of a meter per second in play. Unintelligible. Uh, rate point 0.12. There is a slight discrepancy. Copy. This Soyuz will park itself at the Prashal module next door to it, the Soyuz MS-26 at the Rosviet module, where the uh, vehicle is located that will bring home Don Pettit, Alexei Ovchinin, and Ivan Wagner on April 19th U.S. time. Small Delta. Standing by for contact and capture. One meter. 
Great point one. We have contact. We have capture. At 3.57 a.m. Central Time, 4.57 a.m. Eastern Time. Two. As the International Space Station and Soyuz MS-27 flew 262 miles over Western Russia. Congratulations, Sergey. Congratulations on your arrival to the International Space Station. Thank you, Alexei. And please repeat. We'll now stand by for the relative motion of the two vehicles to settle down, initiating the retraction of the docking probe. Display. A flawless uh, flight from launch pad to docking for Soyuz MS-27. In work. Johnny Kim, Sergei Ryzhikov, and Alexei Zabritsky have arrived at their home for the next several months. They will be on board the station until December. Check in parameters. Section 1. Thanks, 109. Number 2, 236. 502 for propellant. Two Soyuz vehicles side by side at the International Space Station. Now page 57. MS-27 at the top of your screen, MS-26 at the bottom. Preparing for R7 command. R7 input. The flight uh, from launch until docking was as smooth as glass for Kim, Rizhikov, and Zabritsky. So use light deactivated. No, this is not correct. Now, S18, this is that command for the Soyuz light. The uh, trip uh, for the three uh, crew members took three hours and ten minutes, with the launch occurring at 12.47 a.m. Central Time, 1.47 a.m. Eastern Time. Once again, docking occurring at 3.57 a.m. Central, 4.57 a.m. Eastern, over Western Russia. Recovery start. Oh, okay, some commands are from the ground. Any preferences for food that you would like to have later? Not really, but thank you. And everything nominal. We arrived uh, without any uh, perturbation. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> we remember how it was before. Favor, this is Moscow. Go ahead. Moscow, how do you read us? Yes, we read you. Favore. The uh, docking probe has been retracted and hooks are now driving. Now this will form a hard mate between Soyuz and Prushal. Once that's accomplished, leak checks will begin on both sides of the docking interface to ensure that we have an airtight seal prior to the opening of the hatches that is scheduled about uh, two hours and 15 minutes from now.
seen and do we start ECG? Not yet. Copy, not yet. Preparing S13 command. Sierra 13. Moscow Station, Station Ground 1. Go ahead on Station Ground 1. S13, Command, armed. And uh, Sergey, and I am ready to uh, put KVD-3 into the electrical control position. Transfer hatch closed. You're a go. Connector. The uh, hooks are now closed on the Soyuz side of the docking interface. Next up, the closing of the hooks on the Prashal side. June, the command. S13. We have indication for hooks closed at 12.03.40. Do we turn off the video? Not yet, Favor. Favore, now open O2 manual isolation valve. Sergey Ryzhikov, the Soyuz commander, running through uh, post docking procedures to save the vehicle. It was a uh, flawless docking at uh, 3.57 a.m. Central Time, 4.57 a.m. Eastern Time. Thirty-second purge, correct? Lighters retracted. Cabin O2 valve. Three, two, one. Pressure in SR 739. Probe retracted. Moscow station station ground one. Three. Go ahead on station ground Five seconds. Uh, I'm doing the close out off. And uh, transfer hatch to close. Step 10, 11, and 12. Repress. For the camera, yes, please go ahead and do the close out off. Pressure 790. Copy. Ready to close O2 manual isolation valve. Yes, you have a go. Closing. This is Mission Control Houston. We now have confirmation of the closing of the Prashal node module hooks. So we have a hard mate now between the Soyuz MS-27 and uh, the International Space Station. This will initiate a couple of hours of leak checks, the uh, pressurization of the vestibule, the small passageway between the Soyuz and Prishal that will lead uh, to the hatch opening and the arrival on board the station for NASA's Johnny Kim and Roscosmos cosmonauts Sergei Ryzhikov and Alexei Zubritsky. So rendezvous and docking went by the book, no issues at all with the Soyuz spacecraft, docking occurring at 3.57 a.m. Central Time, 4.57 a.m. Eastern Time, as the two spacecraft, uh, the station and Soyuz, flew 262 miles over western Russia. With that, we'll wrap up this broadcast and point you toward our hatch opening broadcast. In about two hours from now, we'll be back on the air at 6 a.m. Central, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. The procedures to begin the opening of the hatch should uh, occur about 20 minutes later. Uh, the three newly arrived crew members, Kim, 
Rizhikov and Zabritsky will float on board. And they'll be greeted with some uh, congratulatory comments from officials at the Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov, as well as the spacecraft communicator here in Mission Control in Houston. We'll bring all of that coverage to you about two hours from now. So join us then, but for the meantime, we'll close out this broadcast with the successful docking of Soyuz MS-27 to the International Space Station. This is Mission Control Houston.